This is still a very sad puppy because he got all wet. But you're clean, honey. Okay, now towel dry. Here's some mats that I did not cut off on the back of his leg. I guess you can see that that's like a spider web that's not showing the skin. And he's soaking wet. So I'm pulling the hair up and then gradually taking little bits of it down. And I really suggest you don't put the dryer on it at this stage because it'll get dry and then if the mat's not out, you have to wet it again. And this is a really tough spot because it gets matted so easily on their elbows. He looks like a mess right now, right? When he's done, he'll look good. So after I've brushed the mat, and I'll take my wonderful white tooth comb and just see if I've got them out, which I didn't yet. And sometimes with this comb being wide, and I'm holding on to the hair at the skin so it doesn't pull him. And it's, I can get these mats out. Now if it was dry, some of you have probably brushed mats when it was dry. And then it seems like an hour later, the mats are back again. I think it's like, it's like a spring. Like you can pull it tight for a little bit, but it's still gonna spring back again. But when it's wet, it stretches the hair a bit when you're brushing and then more so when you're drying it. So the mats don't come back. But if you're taking mats out dry, chances are they'll be right back again in a few minutes or the next day anyway. So I'm going to work away at his legs here because I didn't want to shave them. The legs and the head seem to grow the slowest and it's important for the look. So I'm going to work at these mats, see if I can get them out. So I've got the mats out and I can run a comb through everywhere. So I'm towel drying again. Don't forget the tail. I don't shave the muzzle with the rest of the body because when I do the head, I want the muzzle to fit in with the head. So I'm gonna leave that till I scissor the head. Okay, buddy? Is that feeling a little better? No. 